Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now I've got a bit of a different style video here for you today. I didn't actually intend on filming this for you, but as I got through this project, I thought it was probably something that you guys would really like to see as well. So it's basically, I'm upcycling my dining room table. Now I've done this before, this particular table. I actually bought it quite cheaply off Facebook a few years ago. And what I did with it to start with was to paint it white with some Annie Sloan paint and I actually decoupaged the table. Now I've got a video for that and I'll try and find that out and pop that um, in link with this video just so you can watch it. But basically that started to get a little bit tatty so I wanted to redo it and do like a different style, try some different techniques. So that's what I started to do and I had no intention of filming it and putting it on. I was just like playing about with different techniques and different styles. And when I started to do it, I thought, you know, you guys would probably like to see this. So I took a few photos, took a few videos, and um, that's it. So let's have a look at it, and I'll show you what I did, and hopefully you'll like it or get some inspiration. Here we go. Okay, okay, so this is a table that we had previously, and they've got quite tatty. They get a lot of views with the dogs coming in and out as well, so um, I decided it was time to update them. So what I did to start with is sand them down, and I had some decoupage on the top, so I used the sander just to get rid of that. And um, once I'd done that, I used some chalk paint, and this is the Vintage with Grace, and it's Portobello. So I went over all of the chairs and the table with two layers of the chalk paint, and um, it dried really well and it was really easy to um, cover. So I did two coats. There's Penny, the little doggy there, saying hi. So once that's done and it was nice and dry, I made some mouldings and I used some of the DAS air drying clay for this. And this is the mould that I used and I bought, um, I've got two. So this is the Warrington Framework and also the Everly Flourish. So I used this one here on the back of the chair and then the other one I used on the side of the table, so that's the one I used on the table side. And to stick them on, I just used some no nails, or you can use some trade grade PVA as well. And then all I did was go over the top with some more of the grey chalk paint, just to blend it all in. And because it's the same colour, you can go over it afterwards. Once they'd both dried, everything had dried, I decided to start and distress the chairs and the table, and I just got some of the darker grey chalk paint and used my brush and lightly kind of went over the edges and then rubbed it with a cloth just to distress it and just to soften any of the corners and you know any bits and I did the same on the table so I went around really carefully with a brush just pulling out some detail there and then sort of you know went round the corners round the legs all in sort of areas that I thought needed to look a little bit distressed and then I used some of the grey, the original grey chalk paint to go over the lines that I'd done and I just used that to soften it and if you are a bit heavy handed on certain areas you can just kind of patch over it. Once that had dried I used some of the rub and buff, I just got one of these cheap cloths, rubbed it in with my finger and just went over some areas and I decided to use gold just to really give the chair some dimension and to make some of the colours pop out a little bit and you can put on as much of this or as little as you like it's completely personal preference once that had all dried I then waxed the top and that's the wax that I used there so I went over it with a brush did a real good layer of the wax that'll obviously need to cure and it will need to set and once that had sort of dried in I then rubbed it with a cloth just to sort of buff it up and this is the finished table and chairs so I'm really really pleased with it I think it looks really really cool and I actually put my Christmas centerpiece on as well okay so I hope you enjoyed that video I hope I've taught you something new and maybe inspired you to have a little go as well if you haven't already subscribed then please do consider subscribing I'd love to have you on board we've got a Becky's Crafts and Goodies Facebook page and Instagram so you can just search that and hopefully join us along there too but I hope you enjoyed watching how I upcycled this table and I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon you take care bye for now